This video shows you how to remove media substrate jams and how to avoid them with the HP Latex 110 printer. Media jams may occasionally occur while printing. The jam must be cleared correctly before continuing to print. When a jam occurs, several different system errors may appear on the front panel. The most common ones are 8101 and 8601. First, turn off the printer from the front panel. Then switch off the power switch at the rear too. Open the printer window. Cut the substrate where it enters the printer. Caution! Avoid pulling the substrate out through the input path because this is the reverse direction of normal movement and could damage printer parts. Move the printer carriage out of the way. Lift the substrate pinch lever. Remove as much possible of the jammed substrate from the top of the printer. Cut the substrate if necessary. Make sure that there are no pieces of substrate left in the printer. In particular, Check in and under the curing module and the substrate path. Warning, do not touch the printer's curing enclosure, which could be hot. If you need to do it to remove some substrate pieces, wait a few minutes to be sure the printer is cold enough. Lower the printer pinch lever. Close the printer window. Power up the printer using both the rear and front panel switches. After, reload the media. Reload the media and you can continue printing as usual. If you're experiencing poor print quality after a jam, try realigning the print heads. There are several possible causes for the substrate jams. In this section, the main ones are mentioned as well as the process to fix the problem. If the substrate you use deforms a lot in the curing process, some wrinkles that occurred in the curing module may reach the print zone area, causing a crash between the substrate and the print head's carriage. Decrease the curing temperature in steps of 5 Celsius degrees to reduce media deformation and avoid or minimize substrate jams. Decreasing the temperature too much may cause curing issues. If there is not enough vacuum suction in the printing zone, the substrate will not be touching the print platen and may crash with the print head carriage. Increase the vacuum suction in steps of 10 units to ensure the media is flatter on the platen and avoid or minimize the substrate jams. Increasing the vacuum too much may cause vertical banding or media advance issues. If the edges of the substrate are not touching the print platen, they may crash with the print head's carriage. The edge holders are designed to prevent the edges of the substrate from rising while printing is in progress. You should set minimum left and right margins of 7 millimeters, 0.3 inches, in the software rip when using edge holders. Otherwise, the printer could try to print on the edge holders. Some substrate may have problems only at the beginning of the jobs because the leading edge crashes against any printer part. Start by modifying the extra top margin because usually it is more effective. If necessary, try modifying the extra bottom margin. Set margins to 100 millimeters. If that is not enough, try higher values. You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel.